So my darlings, in today's episode I wanted to focus on the note of rose blended with musk and I think that makes such a delicate soft combination. I thought again this is the perfect time to share those notes blended together. When you think of Valentine's Day or date night you think of a fragrance that is floral, romantic and soft. So I thought rose and musk is just absolutely beautiful. What is your favourite musky rose perfume? Leave me a comment down below. I have four perfumes in my collection and these are very soft, delicate musk and rose notes blended together. So I wanted to start this video with a fragrance that I have here by Maison Lancôme. This is called Putet and this is a rosy musky perfume. It's soft, it's creamy and it's really delicate. This perfume dries down to benzoin so it has a little bit of a honeyed sweetness to it. But guys, I really love this. This is a beautiful soft rose. It's not a sharp rose, it's not strong, it's not heavy, it's really soft, really delicate. I really do love this perfume as a daytime fragrance and I bought this perfume a few years ago on its release date and when I swapped this perfume, I fell in love with it because it's a daytime fragrance. It would make a perfect signature scent. When you spray this, it just smells really soft. It smells rosy, but it's like a delicate rose. It's not a strong rose. I'm just going to spray a little bit on my hand here. But it's really soft and you get lots of white musk. It's like a creamy musk. Yeah, it's really creamy. Soft, really nice, very delicate, this fragrance. Now with Petet, this fragrance is going to sit very close to your skin. It's not a fragrance that projects very far. It's not very long lasting, but I do like it as a clean everyday scent. I think this perfume could even be a part of the clean girl aesthetic as well. It's a soft rose if you like florals, but then there's a honeyed body to this. You do get that benzoin, but it's not strong and ambery. It's very soft, creamy, a little bit honey and sweet. So guys, I do think this type of rose would suit the more mature group. I think that this is going to be more 35 plus, but it just depends on your fragrance style. If you like something that's really soft and delicate and ready for the spring, then I would go for this. As this is drying down on my hand, it's becoming even more sweet. And I haven't worn this fragrance for a little while now and I've forgotten how sweet it is. It's quite a sweet rose. It's just that extremely rosy. So give this one a try if you are a fan of rose and musks. Now the next perfume I have is Sakura. This is very smooth, guys. This is so different. Now this is a perfume. It's a musky, violety rose perfume. And this is a fragrance I would definitely wear more in the spring. It comes across a little bit soapy and it's fresh. And it's really soft and powdery, extremely musky. If you're watching this series, it's because you love rose and you're looking for a feminine perfume which is blended with rose and musk. And this fragrance has all the ingredients you need for a very delicate light -like floral. So this perfume opens up with some green notes and then in the heart it's based of jasmine, there's a rose in here and then we have some heliotrope, we have musk, we have violet and there's a little bit of almond in here as well. And it's the light blossoms you receive from the almond flowers more than the actual nut itself. So you do receive a tiny bit of this green nutty note but this dries down to powder, musky violet base. Pick up this soapy creamy body with the notes of mimosa and violet blended together. This is really soft, it's a daytime scent, it's light wearing as well. This perfume I would get, I honestly think about four hours maximum in this perfume, but I don't mind over spraying and it's a very light floral, but it's very pretty. It's a fragrance you can wear all day long. You can wear it in the office. It just smells like you stepped out of the shower and your skin is still soft and supple with the notes of violet, musk, rose, jasmine. It's really soft and pretty and very feminine. So that's Sakura. I have Pure Extreme here in my collection and this is a beautiful, delicate rose. If you like a rose that smells true, but it's not sharp. And when I say sharp, I mean green, zesty, quite strong. This is a rose perfume, a little bit more on the softer side. This is blended with rose, amber, magnolia and musk. It's soft, it's so clean, guys. Such a beautiful scent. 
If you're getting married, then I would consider this perfume as it's a really light floral. It's pretty, it's an inviting floral. It smells true, it smells like a true floral, but it's a little bit woody. It's light, it's clean, it smells fresh. This smells like spring, guys, it's a pretty scent. For me, this smells like a wedding day. It smells like a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And you do receive the woody notes in here and the amber, you have some precious woods in here. So it makes it a little bit more warm as well. So that's my pure extreme. So I'm excited to share the very last perfume in my collection. Celebrating Rose and Musk is my Rose and Roses by Miss Dior. Now, I love this perfume, guys. I wear this so much. And you know, I never thought I was going to like this perfume. I think initially when I tried it, I felt like it wasn't going to suit me, but it's really nice. It's sparkling, it's fresh, and I receive so many compliments of this perfume. This fragrance opens up with bergamot, geranium, and mandarin orange. And then in the heart of this fragrance, we have two types of roses. There's grass rose in here and damask rose, and this dries down to a musk. You do receive that creamy, powdery um, base of the musk. And I have to say, the musk is not extremely powdery it's a fresh musk if you are a fan of musk perfumes but you want something that's a little bit more vibrant and sparkling then i would go for the miss dior rose and roses this makes a beautiful daytime scent this is a lovely fragrance to wear casually i pick this up mainly during the daytime and i love this it's a happy scent if you just want to smell clean fresh girly then i do recommend this one and I think the rose in here, again, this is not a sharp rose. It's not a sharp rose, but you do pick up the citruses. The citruses are the ones that are highlighted and more at the forefront of this fragrance that makes this more a sparkling fragrance. And it's really gorgeous, guys, really nice. And I received so many compliments of this, guys. So I have all four perfumes here. Out of my collection, I think my Sakura is the best fragrance for the spring, and I think early spring from March onwards. This is great for the daytime. It's great as a casual scent as well. It could be your signature scent. The chorus smells like you just stepped out of the bath. If you're looking for a rose and musk perfume that's a little bit more amped up, romantic, memorable, and highly classy, I do recommend my Pure Extreme. This smells like a wedding bouquet. This is stunning, guys. I love this perfume. It smells a little bit like Delina. If you take away the sweetness of Delina and you're left with the florals, musk woods there's some amber in here roses it's really fresh and pretty that's pure extreme and then if you're looking for a daytime scent something you want to wear every single day then i have these two which is my putet and my rose and roses this one is sparkling fresh compliment getter and then we have putet which smells like your skin it smells smooth it's textured it smells full bodied, the rose, but it's not sharp. It's a little bit sweet as well. Actually quite honeyed, this fragrance. So I recommend these as your daytime perfumes. So darlings, these are all the fragrances I have in my collection that contains a note of rose and musk. On the market, there are so many fragrances containing rose and musk. And one of my favorite perfumes is by Montel and it's called a Rose's Musk, and it's so beautiful, but it's very similar to my Rose's Elixir, so I haven't added that to my collection as yet. So if you guys were thinking of buying either one, then try them both, because they're very similar. One has more of a fruitier vibe, um, which is the Rose's Elixir. It's a bit more fruity with a strawberry nose in there as well. So that completes my video for today, and I would love to know what is your favorite rose and musk perfume. Leave me a comment down below, and if there are any other rose combinations you're interested in, drop me a comment down below so I can get filming. Guys, have a wonderful day. The sun is shining for us today, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.